all, I'm Aneta. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I will show you how an image format may impact the size of your presentation. Let's start. On this slide, we have two illustrations of a robot, originally a vector file. They look identical, don't they? The first one has been pasted special as an enhanced meta file, which is a vector format for Windows applications. And the other one is a PNG. I've used this format because of its ability to include transparent pixels. Well, both pictures are the same only at first glance. I've enlarged part of the magnifying glass so that you can see the difference in the quality. The first image looks much better because enhanced meta files support vector graphics, which can be scaled without losing the quality. But why is the EMF also lighter? Let's ungroup it. Let's press shift ctrl g twice. And here you have the answer. It's made of shapes and lines. You cannot ungroup the PNG because it's a bitmap image and that's why after enlarging it, you can see the pixels. Besides, the larger the bitmap, the heavier it is. Let's take a look at the other example. We have a photo here, a chart and some text. What will happen if we save this slide as an enhanced meta file and a JPEG, another pixel-based format? Look, the first one is a JPEG image and the other one is an enhanced meta file. Again, you can see the difference in the quality. However, in this case, the EMF is much heavier than the JPEG. Why? The EMF format can include both vector graphics and raster data. As you know, the JPEG is a lossy format and the image has been compressed. Let's ungroup the EMF. Let's press shift ctrl G twice. And look, you're still able to modify the photo, text, and you can modify the shapes. However, remember, the data in the chart is no longer editable. Last but not least, Remember that EMFs support only the RGB color mode. Thank you so much for watching the first part of the reduced file size video and don't forget to subscribe.